One thing each of these teams can do is pass the rock, Grant. We should see a lot of ball movement tonight. Hey, sharing is caring. And of course, there's great chemistry on both teams. There's such a flow to this game when they get together. And we're going to see some terrific team basketball tonight. I can't wait. Now let's take a look at the Kings opening lineup. Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. Herter and Barnes fill the wings. And it's Fox in at point guard. Pass to Herter. Now Sabonis. He's defended by Looney. Curry against Fox. Just five to shoot. They kick it out to Murray. Sinks the tray. Already a consistent sniper, Murray is only getting more assertive from the arc. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings, plus two MVP trophies. Not bad. Herder can't hit. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for Golden State. Here's Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. That's a great sign. Clay up there and rocking the rim. Here's Barnes. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Curry with it. Now Herder defending. Curry passes to Looney. alley up top, hammer it home. And Looney's a guy you can rely on on both ends of the floor. From 10 feet away, misses off the left iron. The Warriors have gone three of three so far from the floor. Wiggins drives in. The kick out, Curry. Looney, a screen on Fox. He takes it in. Yeah! I know you want to focus on the shooting of Steph, but man, he's going to make plays too. The Kings have gone just two for four from the floor. Box for three. The shot off that time. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Outside Curry. One forty-three left in the opening quarter. Green for three. Sacramento grabs the miss. They want to keep rolling here, following a win against Atlanta. They had a lot of breaks go their way in that game, and hey, they cashed in when they could. Yeah, the last game, it felt like they were just feeding off of what they were doing defensively, forcing a lot of those turnovers, and that helps build your defensive confidence. So the Kings making a change here. Monks checked in. You know, Brent, one thing about DeMontis Sabonis, he definitely helps their offensive flow. Yeah, he's one of the better screeners in the league. And you know this, Grant. Those dribble handoff plays create so much movement, space, and rhythm to an offense. That's where Sabonis really excels. 50 move. And Sabonis slams it in. And how about Sabonis getting up there and rising up to slam down? 59 seconds left now in the first quarter. Curry surveys. The kick out to Wiggins. Pass to Green. Here's Thompson. Just five on the clock. And that comes off the assist by Green. Thompson's got his third basket of the night. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Sabonis finds Monk. Back to Sabonis. Monk with it. Looney grabs a miss. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Green, the pass to Looney. On the wing, Thompson. Wiggins for three. He's off on that one. And so it's the Golden State Warriors closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. We'll be right back with you shortly.
thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Warriors. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. The core of the Warriors dynasty on the floor. Curry and Clay is the guards with Draymond at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. That's the Warriors five. The second game of a back-to-back -back here tonight. Brent, it must be hard to keep your energy up on consecutive nights. Well, that's why we see so many coaches sit healthy players for the second game, but the NBA has done a great job over the past four or five seasons cutting back on back-to-back -back nights where games are scheduled. And the players spoke up, and the league listened. Lenz checked in for the Kings. Now here's Monk. His last outing, we saw him score 13. Here's Fox. Green with the defensive effort. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for the Warriors. Seven-point game. Biggest lead so far. Green with a screen on Fox. And he's going for the lob. Ball stolen. And stolen by Green. Second chance shot. Sacramento grabs the miss. Their last encounter in Sacramento. Yeah, last time out, they barely captured a win against this team. And it came down to some key turnovers. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Clay Thompson is able to go on scoring stretches like few players in NBA history. He said, quote, once you see it go straight through the net, that's when you're in the zone. At the beginning of the game, you hold your follow through. Once you feel like you can't miss, you shoot real quick, and that's a great feeling. You feel on top of the world. BA? Yes, indeed. Thanks, Allie. And the league's longest playoff drought was snapped last season by Sacramento. Like the beam, Brent. Sweet, sweet relief, BA. First postseason for the Kings since 2006. And they did it in such convincing fashion. I mean, these guys weren't coming in as if they had no chance. They came in confident and hungry, and they want to get back. Now here's Looney. Right now averaging five and a half a game. The three from Curry. Dorte grabs the board. The Kings trailing. Here's Fox. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. Well, hard to get Fox off of his center of gravity. So low, so quick, and phenomenal at scoring when he gets hit. And out of bounds. Um, Sacramento will have it. Let's take a look at the numbers for Jonathan Kaminga. Kamada Sabonis, he's checked in for the Kings. Harrison Barnes comes in for Duarte. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Fox for three. Warriors with the rebound. Curry finds Wiggins. Back to Curry. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Sabonis. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Here's Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. How about Fox getting up on the inside? Love to see the point guard rise up. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And when you talk about raw speed and quickness, no one better than De'Aaron Fox. B.A., if we went into the locker room and looked at the dry erase board, the number one thing up there on the scouting report is beware of De'Aaron Fox in the open court. Such a tremendous finisher and such a great attacker of the basket. Pass to Green. Thompson with it. Herder defending. Clay busting it up inside. Raymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around. At some point, one's going to break open. Then he finds him. Outside Barnes. Now Sabonis. Now here's Fox. He's covered by Curry. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got four rebounds now. Thompson outside. Pass to Looney. Curry against Sabonis. Curry passes to Green. Back to Curry. And there's a three-second violation. Long, he's checked in for Fox. In for the Kings. Number zero. Malik Monk. The Kings have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. 
Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Monk. Again, the miss by the Kings. The Warriors have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Here's Wiggins. Outside Curry. Got it up. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Warriors on top, up five. One more time, man. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. And you know, Klay Thompson has been really making it happen, guys. He's been on the attack, playing hard and going right to the rim. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. Taking a look at the Kings. Fox and Herter man the guard spots. Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. And it's Barnes in a small forward. Here's Thompson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. That went on Herter. Hey, we all love going to Oakland, but the Chase Center is just an incredible friend. Oh, what a magnificent, sparkling, brand new building they have. Like most arenas, the Warriors' practice facility is also in the building for the players, so it makes it very easy for them day after day and night after night to come do the work that's necessary to be a championship team. Fox outside. Pass to Herter. Back to Fox. Six to shoot. Fires at the elbow. Counted. Now five of 11 for the game. Fox just found a little bit of space there, and he burned the defense. Here's Thompson. Oh, Clay Thompson with the bounce. Get up, Clay. And you can't leave the basket unprotected. Bad things will happen to you. Yeah, that was just way too easy. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr has somewhat of a hands-off approach. He said, quote, coaching isn't controlling. My goal by the end of the year is to just sit there and do nothing. And that means it works because that's what a coach's job is. It's not to pull strings, call and play and direct traffic. It's to say, this is your team, or VA. Yeah, that's how you have to think about it, right? Thanks, Allie. Timeout call, Sacramento. The Kings making a switch here. Monks checked in. Let's check in on the free throw shooting. The best in the league. Stephen Curry, number one. And, of course, Clay Thompson. Both of these guys excel at the line. And you just know their coaches love it. Guys who are reliable late in games. Outside Monk. Sabonis finds Herter. Who poked away. It's stolen by Curry. Curry drives. Lays it up and banks it in. And it's a nine-point Warrior lead. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. You talk about players that mean so much to their team. Stephen Curry at the top of that list, Brent. Yeah, you just look at the numbers, B.A. They're staggering about what happens when this team doesn't have Steph Curry on the floor. And really, Curry becomes the entirety of the way this offense works. Curry against Monk. Pass to Herder. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Greg? Well, B.A., the league seems focused on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. The first free throw is good. The line for the Kings, Davion Mitchell taking two shots and that one goes in two from the line that time not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half Thompson outside oh there's the alley and Looney with the slam Whoa. I just love that alley slam defense disorganized defense pays outside Monk Back to Mitchell. Murray looking around. Clock at six. 
Pass to Monk. Buries it from three. You have to get out on him. He'll burn you from there repeatedly. Thompson outside. Looney, a screen on Monk. Curry against Mitchell. Curry passes to Looney. Outside for Green. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. Lyles, he's checked in for the Kings. Dorte comes in for Herter, and that one drops. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Pass to Monk. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Thompson finds Wiggins. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got his fourth rebound in this one. And Mitchell launches it from deep. Misses the deep three-point attempt. Got count. And so it's the Golden State Warriors earning this break in the action up 10. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Wiggins at the three with Draymond at the four. Then there's Kevon Looney. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Pajemski in at the two. That's the Warriors five. Left side Monk. A quick shot there. It's off target. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Here's Pajemski. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. And the Warriors lead by 13. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Timeout call. Sacramento. Barnes comes in for Dorte. And Herter subbed in for Mitchell. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Mike Brown was saying to the team. And he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. As always, Allie, we thank you. Murray passes to Barnes. They kick it out to Murray. And it's all from three point range. So far, rebounding has been a big factor tonight. And it's time for an injury report. And now we check in with Allie LaForce. She's got an update on De'Aaron Fox. Allie? Guys, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for Sacramento. And unfortunately, this could be a season-altering injury. It is a major loss right in the thick of the season. Other guys will have to step up. Let's see who answers the call. All we can hope for is that the prognosis isn't as bad as it seems, guys. Yeah, we were hoping for much better news, and obviously, not very encouraging. Yeah, we always think about when players go down, how terrible a blow it can be for the team. We wish him well, and hope he's on the floor quickly. Inside, Green, the pass to Wiggins. Curry against Monk. Green with a screen on Monk. And the basket by Curry. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends Sacramento of the floor here tonight. Timeout called. Sacramento. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans and it motivates him to always give them his very best Curry 
against Fox. Outside Murray. Pass to Fox. Down to five on the shot clock. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And just first, wasn't first able foul. to set up in time. First team foul. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Here's Herber. And off the glass. That one's good. Well, Brent, something that can get overlooked. How a player fits in on a team can make all the difference. Well, that fit, B.A., depends on where your team is in, in the arc of your competitiveness. So if you need one guy to put you over the top in your team winning 50 games, then you've got to get the right fit. Otherwise, many teams and rosters are exploring talent, developing talent, until they get to that point where fit becomes the foundation for what they're going to do for something special. And with the new CBA print, the league making things a little more challenging for the top spending teams. And B.A., is there a chance that big market teams become a little bit more frugal? Because above that 17 and a half million dollar apron you lose the taxpayer mid-level can't shop the buyout market like you used to to bolster a team that just needs maybe one veteran piece to finish off a season and put themselves in better position There's definitely some trade restrictions that are going to keep teams from having some fluidity so it's buyer beware and the big spenders are going to have to be a little bit more careful Barnes against Looney Barnes passes to Herter. Four on the clock. Over Wiggins. Back to Barnes. Got it. Good job in the low post. If you leave someone open on a team with Sabonis having the ball, he's going to make you pay. That's great recognition. Fox against Curry. Three-pointer. Knocks down the triple. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. It's stolen by Curry. Fires for three. The rebound by Murray. Now here's Fox. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the line for two. And he makes a first. It's definitely a part of the game that Fox wants to work on. These haven't been easy for him in the past. And both free throws good for Fox. And the Warriors call time here. They're leading by 13. One second left in the fourth quarter of this one. Your thoughts, guys? Unique timeout here with the game pretty much settled. Sometimes you want to have these teachable moments on the floor and not in the next day's film session, so coach electing to do that here. Counted from distance. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific room right now. He seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. 